hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Eno so in today's video we'll be looking at the system CTL command that we can use to manage services in Kali Linux and other distros so the system CTL command can be used to manage services on your Linux machine there's different actions you can achieve using the system CTL command. Today, I'll just be focusing on a few of those, which include checking the status of a service or application, starting the application, enabling or disabling the service. Now, the first thing I'll do here is I'm going to check the status of SSH. And we see here it says that it's loaded, but it's inactive and also it's disabled and then the vendor default or preset is disabled that means that anytime you start up or boot up your machine the service is not going to be enabled now we'll use the systemctl command to start this service actually what we can also do is we can try and see if we can ssh to this machine we check the ip address And it's 172.16.1.13. We'll use party here. 172.16.1.13. And it's saying permission denied. And we are not able to SSH into the machine. So we'll go ahead and uh, use system CTL to start search check the status again and now it's saying it's active it's running however it's still disabled so that that means that if we reboot this machine we'll need to restart or to start ssh again it won't enable it automatically now let's try to ssh using party again and see if we are able to Log into it. And now it's asking for we have the login page. Are we able to log in? The other thing you can do is, like I said, we can enable it such that when we, we reboot this computer, it should start the SSH services automatically. So let's go ahead and do now uh, the command for doing that will be system ctl show you and do sudo here system ctl enable ssh now as you can see i it created a uh, same links now we'll what we'll do is we'll reboot and we'll see if it's enabled for us. So it's done rebooting. We'll log into the machine. We'll open a terminal. Expand. Increase the font size. Now we we'll check and as you can see now SSH dot service is enabled for us. We didn't have to do a, a start on it because of the command we put in. The last command I'll show is how to disable. Like if you wanted to disable SSH, there is a command we can use again with system CTL. It's gonna be system TL. Now we say disable search. Mm. Let's use sudo here. And it, it has removed SSH D service and SSH service. So if we check the status once more. You should see that it's disabled. If we do a re 
a reboot or a reload, the services should not be able to run. So I'll do a reboot and then we'll come back and see the status. Okay, we'll log back in. Again, we'll check check the status of SSH. It should be disabled, which it, it is. All right, that's it for this video. I'll see you all again in my next video. Thanks, bye.